Hi everyone, my name is Jason from the blog Jason D. Moore Photography, and today I'm going to walk you through a process to create a nice sleek gallery frame to use with your images. We're going to start off by creating a new document. I'm using uh, 800 by 600 pixels because my gallery within the National Association of Photoshop Professionals members portfolio section requires no bigger than 800 by 600 pixels for their images. Next step, with the background layer selected, we're going to fill it with black by holding the Option or Alt in the Backspace or Delete key. That would be Alt Backspace on PC or Option Delete on Mac. Next, we need to add a frame around the outside edges of our image. To do this, we need to make our background layer a regular layer. We can do this by double-clicking on the background layer and, and clicking OK. Next, click on the Layer Effects button at the bottom of your Layers panel and select Stroke. Change the position of the stroke from outside to inside and lower the size down to 1. Now you're stuck with this default red, which I don't know why Adobe decided to do that, but we don't want that. So double click on the color swatch and select a light gray shade. Maybe go a little darker here. This simply adds a nice uh, boundary to the edge of your frame. This way, if your image ends up on a black web page, this will define the edges a little better for you. And click OK once again. Now we're ready to add our image. Simply go to File, Place, and select the image you want to use. While this is working on it, we place objects because it inserts them as smart objects. We like to use smart objects because it keeps the image safe. It means we're always working on essentially a copy of it and can always go back to edit the original. Also, it allows for flexibility so that later on if we decide to use this frame again, we can simply replace the contents of the smart object and we don't have to go through this whole process. With your Option or Alt and the Shift key pressed, click and drag on the corner to scale down the image. By holding the Shift key, we maintain the proportions of the original, and by holding the Option or Alt key down, it scales it to the center of the image, as you will see. That seems like a good size. We'll release those keys and click on the check mark up in the Options bar. With our Move tool selected, you make sure it's selected by clicking on the button in the toolbar or by simply hitting the, the V key. We will hold down Shift to maintain the straight line and drag upwards to position our image. You'll notice that the left and right and top margins roughly match, which is what we're looking for. With our image layer still selected, hold down your Command or Control key and click on the New Layer icon. This will create a new layer below the image. Next, hold down Command or Control and click on the thumbnail for the image layer, and then go up to Select Transform Selection. Again, with your Shift and Alt or Option key pressed, click and drag the corner of this selection and make it just a little bit bigger than the image itself. And click on the check mark to commit the change. With the new blank layer selected, simply fill that layer with black, again holding Option or Alt and Backspace, and then Control or Command D to deselect. Now again, you won't see anything that uh, we've done so far because we've just uh, added a black layer above the black background. In order to see it, simply hold your Option or Alt key down, click on the Layer Effect icon on the layer 0, and drag up to the layer that you just created. And You'll see that that same inside stroke of that light gray color is now applied. This adds a nice little matting effect as you would see if you were to actually mount one of your photos for display.
So I used my Wacom 6x8 tablet and added my signature. And then above it, um, I added my name. And there you have it, basically. You have a nice, uh, easy, but yet sleek gallery frame for your images. As I was saying before, if you wanted to replace the main image and use this frame over and over again to maintain a consistent look across all of your images in your portfolio, simply right-click on the name of your smart object in the Layers panel and select Replace Contents. And select the new replacement image that you would like to use. When you do this, the size of the new image may not match exactly the size of the original. So all you'll have to do is hold Command or Control and the letter T and resize in order to make it fit. And we'll go somewhere in there and click the check mark. And we're done. Hope you guys have fun with this one. Once again, my name is Jason of the blog Jason D. Moore Photography. You can find more information at www.jasondmoore.com slash blog. Have fun with this one, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks.